Now for our final topic tonight, incredible news in the field of oncology. Researchers at Tel Aviv University revealing a potential breakthrough in the search for a cure for brain cancer. And here to tell us all about it, Professor Ronit Sachi Fainaro, Director of the Cancer Biology Research Center and the Head of the Cancer Research and Nanomedicine Laboratory at Tel Aviv University's Sackler Faculty of Medicine. Professor, thank you so much for being with us. Now, in plain terms, what did you discover? Hi, good afternoon. What we discovered was that glioblastoma cells, those are the cancer cells in a very aggressive uh, brain tumor, communicate with the immune cells in the brain and basically corrupt them to, for their own benefit. Meaning that instead of the uh, immune systems attacking the cancer cells and not allowing them to uh, spread in the brain and grow in mass, they do exactly the opposite. Once they are corrupted and re-educated by the uh, glioblastoma cells, they become partners. They become assets to uh, help them and uh, recruit blood vessels and allow them to uh, spread and invade the brain tissue. And our main question was, how do they do that? And we know that cells in general communicate by proteins that they express. And uh, we set to look for which protein is the one in charge or one of the main drivers of this communication. And we found P-selectin to be one of 500 proteins that is responsible for these interactions. And basically, when we inhibited it, when we blocked that, we blocked these tight, intimate uh, interactions and sabotage the relationship of the cancer cells with the normal cells in the brain, not allowing them to help promote and progress this cancer. So, so how, how did you go about doing this? Because you just mentioned that there were 500, I'm assuming even more proteins that are being expressed here. How did you narrow it down to one? Well, we looked at uh, models of the brain cancer, of this uh, aggressive brain cancer in, uh, in animals, in mice. And we compared it to hundreds of uh, slides of, uh, of patients, of glioblastoma in patients. Moreover, we collaborated with neurosurgeons from uh, Tel Aviv Medical Center. And we got, from the surgery room, we got a chunk of the tumor. The rest goes, of course, to pathology. And we do it under consent forms. And, and patients know that it is going for research. And we stained that protein. And indeed, we saw that our predictions that this protein is overexpressed, it is indeed communicating between the glioblastoma cells and the microglia, those immune cells. And we see that some, something different is different about this immune system, immune cells in the brain, from normal brains, healthy brains. We got healthy brains from Johns Hopkins and the Liber Institute. And uh, once they provided us, we could compare and see that this protein is not present in the brain if there is no glioblastoma, and it rises up in, in its wow. amount only when the glioblastoma cells are present and communicating and activating those immune cells in the brain, but in a negative way. Instead of inhibiting the process as any pathology, they, they support it and allow them to grow and, and spread in the brain. Wow. All right. Well, I know that there are a huge number of different cancers. And so, first of all, I'm very excited to hear about this really exciting research and, and discovery that you've made. And hopefully it can lead to more breakthroughs in other types of cancer. In the meantime, Professor Saichi Fainaro, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Good afternoon.